Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're playing some Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Alpha Access. Last time we had some serious, serious close fights with the Chaos Engine, and now we finished the system off, I think. So now it's time. Let's go ahead and take a look at warp travel. We'll hop back out here. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. There we are. It doesn't want to put you in the same spot each time. Oh, okay. Map's doing some weird stuff. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to hit this real fast. So we've been to Soto's Tomb. Uh, we've been to Furbundus. So we're just kind of working our way through it. I guess I'm going to go to Trinitus here. Um, it is dangerous. I reduced it by one by using one of those. Okay, let's let's warp travel now. I don't know what's happening. All right, another relative day aboard the void ship has come to the end. The Lord Captain, having given his final orders for the day, retired to his chambers for some divine rest. However, the rogue trader's slumber was disturbed by horrific nightmares plaguing his mind. Fate wretched the Lord Captain out of the clutches of these agonizing warp dreams, only for him to witness the nightmares seeping through the flimsy membrane of the Geller field and taking physical shape in the ship's sanctum sanctorum. To battle. All right, we're going to start with a fight. Start with a bang. <coughs> That's okay. Is it just him? Oh, he gets a level up first, though. Let's let's do that before we do anything else. Strategist. All right, what do we get this time? We get a characteristic this time. Huh. Um, I'm going to go... I don't know. Fellowship. Persuasiveness. Ability to lead. Force of personality. Um, that could be really good, but willpower could be good too. You know, what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go for a fellowship. Yep. I'm going to go accept. Can we, can we do anybody else now? Okay. Oh, there they are in there. Okay. Do I have to kill all these by myself? Holy shit. Excuse my French. Is it just me? Okay, um, I'm gonna go to here. Oh, how much stuff is out there? Man, that's a lot of stuff to shoot at me. Um, what if I go to here? Hmm. That doesn't give me any cover that way. I'm just wondering about a grenade is what I'm thinking. Or, or, um... Huh. Yeah, we've got a lot of people there that could be moving in. Yeah, it looks like I'm the only one here. This is going to be this is going to be interesting. All right. Well, we've got move, move, move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to maybe shoot this maybe to there. Uh, that's going to kill one versus... Let's see, what does that one do? That one is 10 to 14. The grenade does 22. Will that kill both of them? Close. Okay. Then I'm going to use this to slide back. Oh. On myself. Oh, I can't use it on myself. Okay, well, that makes sense, I guess. Um, I think I'm hosed. I think I messed that up, guys. Um, all allies for one turn. So we'll do that next turn. Um, target ally immediately gains a bonus turn with no movement points. Can I do that? Can I do it to myself? No. Huh. Okay, well, that's that. Hopefully these guys suck, because there's a lot of them. Oh, good. She knocked me farther out of the way. That's good. I didn't want to be stuck in melee is what I'm saying. I'd rather be able to get back up. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, I'd rather get around the corner here. I definitely want to get out of that. I don't know what happens here. Like, do we die? Do we wake up? Is it all a nightmare? Is it... Like, I have no idea what goes on here. Oh, we got some more people coming in. All right, well, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and run you. All right, Rogue Trader, uh, where are you? Um, back all the way over here. I'm gonna run you to here. Let's get you out of the smoke. Let's toss another grenade. We can toss it right there and at least get those two. All right, one demonette down. Now you, um, ooh, I was going to charge you in to hit with everything. Like what's, like if we go here with that, right? So let's see, if we go like, yeah, so if I go here, I could get like four of those guys, right? So if we go to like here. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Then we do two. Oh, I gotta go forward one more, don't I? Okay, hold on. Now I do two. There we go. Nice. And then we toss that up. We may even get some return fights. Okay, well, we missed, but that's okay. They're going to take some shots. I was going to say they've been a bad shot so far, but, you know, I cursed myself by even thinking it. Okay, we got a parry. Couple more coming in. Couple more going this way. All right, well, we might, we, I don't, oh, that hurts. We probably were better hiding behind the wall and just shooting with the plasma, or with the. All right, we got somebody else in here though. Perfect, all right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Abelard, since apparently that's what I start with. Um, can I, in fact, movement points. I'd like to just get the hell out of the way, honestly, is what I'd like. Let's risk it. All right, well, we did something. Now we're going to flip around. We're going to get this. Back and, call. and then we'll pop that. Do my duty. You are going to go ahead and hit you. Another demonette down. I don't really have much else I can do here, so we'll just hit that. Again, yeah, hopefully they'll go after Heinrichs. He does have the shotgun. These guys might have a shot angle there. We should have full cover from this direction. Really, dude? Okay, we're 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 hanging in there. Oh, that was a hit. Ouch. The couch did not provide enough cover. All right, you. Um I guess we flip back to this. We hit with the power sword. But of course, Lord Captain. I'm done with this one. Uh, what does this do? Charge. Um, I 
You know what I'm gonna do actually. Alas, no. Um A sail? Huh, nope. Um I'm going to endure and tunker down. Uh, he died of fire. Okay, that's fine. Rogue trader. Um, where do you want to go? If we go to here. Huh. I think I'm gonna, why can I not move? Do I have no movement? Oh, I've got no movement points. Well, that's fine. We'll just grenade these guys. Of course, they ran her right out in the middle of nowhere. She may not even get an attempt to do anything. She may just eat a lot of shots this turn because they just stuck. She goes down every fight. This time is not my fault, though. They just ran her right out there. I didn't have a choice to where she goes. They didn't put her here like they did everybody else. They put her in the middle. Okay. Well, we've been more or less lucky so far. My soul shall become like fire. All right. Well, I'm going to move you to here. And then die? I don't know what killed him. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it keeps closing this. Reflex. I don't know. I have no idea why he's down. There's not a message here. Um, there's nothing that says why. I mean, it says he did seven damage, but I don't know how he did that damage. Doubt is for the weak. And then heal herself. And then second wind. And then shot on the run. Get some cover. And then burn you. Man, when you can keep her standing, she's pretty badass. All right, I got two more coming. And once again, they're going to stand in, in the fire. In the fire and actively start taking damage before we do anything else. Of course they do. So that's how you do it. Now, okay, do I have movement points this time? I do. I'm going to go to here to get out of the smoke. And then I'm just going to go here and shoot. Oh, target is too far. They, oh, I was hitting the other thing. There we go. Oh, we missed. Nice. Nice. Good job, Eric. All right, Pasqua. Um, I'm going to move you up to here. No, I'm not, because I don't want to walk through more fire. I'm going to move you all the way up to here. I have a couple options. I think this is the run to go with. Focus, is that everybody? Focus. All right, well, we're still burning, but we're just going to pack all that as cargo. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more level ups. We've got a Vanguard here. Um, I'm going to go... Let's go... Hmm. Let's go athletics on him. <laughs> I'm watching your back. Always. Assassin. We'll hit this. We get an ability, huh? Lone Wolf, when there are no allies within a radius of four. Interesting. Plus 10 times, plus 10, plus two times his agility bonus. His agility bonus is, he doesn't have one. <laughs> so it's just going to be plus 10 at the moment. Uh, so maybe not that one. 
Uh, when making a successful, <coughs> excuse me, successfully charging an enemy with an active extermination mark. An assassin makes it past a challenging toughness or be knocked prone and additionally becomes stab. Ooh, that could be good. Um, single shot, assassin single shots gain plus 20% chance bonus against bleeding, hit chance against bleeding, burning, or poison. Okay. That does put him well with her. That continues to build that. Um, righteous Fury, applying extermination mark. That's pretty good. Shots against the marked target. Okay. Applies the benefits of study. Killing a marked target with a melee attack grants the assassin... Oh, bonus range. Okay. Agility bonus divided by two, which I don't get. To movement points plus the and plus the assassin agility. Oh well, I don't I don't have an agility bonus, so none of that's useful to me. Um, enemies gain no bonuses for outnumbering. Combat master. Um, we don't have a chain. Well, I mean, we give him a chain weapon. Uh, dueling master. Plus two movement. Laz. Nimble. Melta. Power. He does have a power weapon at the moment. Um, it will not die. Increases the wounds by half the character's level. Oh, that's fairly significant, I would think, right now. Um, right, the level 17, I mean, that's an extra uh, 9 damage. 9 hit points, that would take you up to 39. Huh. I'm kind of going either that or um, I really like the extermination charge. Now, I'm going to go with the extra health for now. All right. Let's accept that. Took us up to 40, actually. Not quite sure how that math works. 17 divided by 2 is, you know, 8.5 rounded up as 9. But, you know what, we'll take it. Um, weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness. Probably should do toughness since she keeps getting hit so bad. Let's let's give her some more toughness. Let's try to keep her on her feet a little bit longer. All right, let's go to here. The navigator, our strategist. And she gets to do one of these. I'm going to do... I'm going to do willpower, I think. Um... Those are intelligence. Lore, warp. All right, let's go intelligence. That raises a lot of skills. All right, and you. Uh, what do you got going on for you? Strategist. Um, I'm going to go perception on you. No, I changed my mind. I'm going to... I'm going to go intelligence as well on you. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, how much more loot do we have to get? Man, that was that was a lot of stuff. Um, Anything worthy of my attention? Uh, that can all go packed as cargo. How about over here? Uh, what type of uh, scrap chainmail? Huh. Okay. Pack his cargo. All right. Well, let's um. Can we rest? Do we go back in? I don't know. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Uh, I guess we go back to here and go back to our warp travels. Maybe. We'll find out here in just a second. I mean, we've done 20 minutes and we haven't actually gone anywhere yet, so, you know. All right. Uh, hold on. Um, Avoris. I don't know what we're doing here. We're supposed to be going... Oh, we are here. Okay. Um, something's going wrong. I can't click anything. I can't click anything here. This doesn't work. 
Oh, there we go. Hold on, hold on. That popped up. Uh, I'm going to save the game real fast. Okay. We are back to the bridge. Yes, we want to, we want to visit it. We, we just got here. Let's see what we got going on. There we go. An unknown ship. I'm going to go this way initially. Let's hold off on that. We got unknown ships over there too. Another burning world. Seems exterminatus has happened a lot. Nothing fancy on this one. Okay. Desert world. I'm thinking, well, I don't know what I'm thinking. That's the answer. I'm just doing stuff. I'm just clicking buttons. No resources. All right, we got a desert world added in. Let's go to the rocky world. Then we'll come back and check this out. Then we'll we'll go do those two. Anything on the rocky world? No resources. Natural accumulation of irregularities on a solid planetary surface has been detected. Probability occurrence of natural materials high. Uh, but but there wasn't. There was there wasn't any. Pascal, you got that one wrong, buddy. There's there's no resources. All right, let's do a quick F5. And now let's come take a look at this unknown ship. Uh, wave of angry whispers runs the bridge as the arch enemy's minions aim their weapons and prepare to attack. Death to the heretops for the glory of the Emperor. All right, we'll see. We might we might live to regret that, or we might not live to regret that for that matter. Oh wait, we've got... Infidel Raider there. Infidel Raider there. Inf oh, there's three. Is that it? Just the three of them? Oh, wait. Well, I'm going to go this way. Onward. I'm going to do Prow. I'm not. Can I do it here? Bleed them. I'm going to do... That. I'm going to go here. Set the course. Oh, I can't quite get him. Um, warp wave. Immediately turn 45 degrees. Somebody else? A oh, one enemy creature within medium range. Um, okay, hold on. Um, what do we got from you? Scan weakness. Sure. It's on the other side. Fair enough. Reinforce shields. Um, I guess on the... Right? Sure. And uh, now we'll see what happens. Miss. Okay. Macro cannon, that could hurt. And it did. And he's successfully hiding his weak side from us. Okay, that one missed. Okay, we got torpedoes coming out. Oh, but that guy's gonna get smoked by our torpedoes. In theory, anyway. All right, um, plasma torpedoes. And then, um, another salvo. And then we turn around. Ooh, that might have been a mistake, because that's going to put our weak shields back on this side. Um, and that is our port side. And we'll hit that. No movement points can be used. Oh, wait. Perfect. 
All right, we'll pause here. That hurt. We might be in for more than we uh, were ready for, to be honest. Shields are down more or less on both sides. All sides. Ouch. All right, um, where do I want to go? Let's start here. Wait, why is it unavailable? There we go. Vengeful salvo. Oh, I can't get that, huh? Can't get that. Can we get that one? Fire right now. Um, I guess that's as much as I. And I'm gonna go this way. Onward. We do have some shields in back. We got the torpedoes that are gonna be coming at us at some point. Screwed that up. He's going to go this way, but maybe we can get them around. I don't know. Well, he's, he did a lot of turn in there. We might not be able to do much to him, our torpedoes. But he didn't get any shots. He's going to get a shot. He missed. This guy should be able to loop around. All right. They blew up. We're fine there. Ours are probably going to do much the same. Um, we'll see where they end up next turn. Does that really take all of our... Took all of our movement, huh? Um, nope. We'll just turn him that way. Should make it harder for him to get back into the fight. Ouch, ouch. Ouch, that was a lot of ouch. I don't know how we're gonna do on this one. This one might this one might be our might be our number here. done a little bit of damage. That guy's open. We might be able to do some more to him. Um, I, uh, these missiles aren't going to do crap. They're, they're done. Um, I guess I can put some out there. Maybe we'll send them after you. Um, Can't get any shots on anybody. Hmm. All right. Oh, I have to move. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think we might be hosed.
Uh, those might get him this next turn. Get the lance on him through uh, open shields, assuming that's where he stays. Nope, he did not. We still get the lance on him, but... Oh, and they blew up our torpedoes. Interesting. I didn't know they could do that. Okay. Spin those around. That should be the end of them, I think. Let's shoot to our left. Leave the across the stars. Leave this. This one's going down. Hit him here. Another salvo. That sucks. The time has come. Hit him here. Leave the hull across the stars. That was something. I don't know if that's useful or not. Um. Set the course. Let's go there. Ouch. More ouch. Lots and lots of ouch. But we should have some good shots again on that. Shots on that guy again. Maybe. Think so. Okay. Oh, oh, I thought they were going to get us. I thought we were so hosed there. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Let's start with these. Unleash Toss them out. Salvo. Then let's go to this. Now let's go to the, uh, and then let's go to, I don't know, here. Macro cannons, volley. Then let's go to here. Another salvo. Oh, we didn't quite get him. Um, and then. Um, and go this way. Let's get that away, hopefully from away from him. Get something going on. Um, and we'll get, we'll try to do some shields there. Okay, got a lucky on a miss there. A little bit more damage. All right, what is this guy going to do? Missiles blew up. They blew up our missiles. That's fine. All right, he was able to get back to our bad side. It's going to hurt. Yeah, definitely hurts. But we'll go ahead and shoot him. Oh, the explosion got both of them. We found 52 units of scrap, 60 units of scrap. Interesting. Okay. And then we shoot that. Right uh, and then I think we go um, that way. Take it away from those. I think they're the last thing. Can we survive? Oh, they hit us. I'll mention the Son of a bitch. In my memoirs. But we did it. We survived, kind of, sort of. We took an ass load of damage, though. But we got about... Okay, well, I think we got just enough scrap to do the repair. <laughs> like, Because I know we got 60 for one, 50 from another, right? So it's 131 to get there. Um, okay. Um, we've done all these. I'm going to do a quick save here. We're at 35 minutes already. 
Should we come see what we can do over here at Foulstone? Can we get to it without alerting those guys? Begin the scan. I might just leave them, if I'm honest. Uh, Ten plants worth of scanning data from the ship's AUG is starting... It's worth, I, I didn't see what any of that was. Hold on. And they keep closing this on us. Um, and it doesn't... That message doesn't show up here. So I have no idea. I uh, received a transmission from Foulstone. It was sent by members of the Order of the Hammer, votaries of St. Cognatius, whose monastery is the only settlement on the planet. Or rather, it used to be. Some time ago, a transport vessel, the Navica, unloaded several thousand refugees from a planet belonging to Rogue Trader Winds. Okay, we remember talking about that. The Order of the Hammer is judging the invasion to be an act of aggression is asking for your lordship's protection. Um, we will not abandon people of faith and distress. Prepare a landing party in my shuttle. I'm taking the monastery into my protection. These people are victims, not invaders. Prepare my shuttle. I need. I shall head to the planet to resolve this. I think we'll do that. Although we might do it next time. Um, oh, maybe not. Okay, we've got a different type of deal here. All right. Six score and 11 days after the Feast of Passing of Nicomedes Keith, the Champion of Faith, Disquietude... Oh, okay. After the Passing of Nicomedes Keith, the Champion of Faith. Disquietude marred the calm of the monastery of the Order of the Hammer. Countless tortured souls steeped in fear arrived in Foulstone in a star baroque. A great apostate had befallen their home and turned them into abject wanderers seeking help and refuge. Their wicked and cruel, and cruel cabin, the owner of the Navica, had betrayed them. Once the unknowing souls in his care made landfall on the world's surface, he, immediate, he most deviously recalled his shuttles and left, thus ridding himself of his duty to care for the unfortunate lot. Not knowing how they would survive in Foulstone's grim wastelands, the forsaken people came to the monastery of St. Cognatius, where they surrounded the walls. They hammered their fists on gate, implored and well, take us in, protect us. And what once was a place of serenity and grace was now full of din, disorder, and all manner of things despicable. The interlopers brought with them worldly futility and strife, and mayhap also the seeds of alluring blasphemies. If fiendly heathens lurked in their midst, and after, after a prayer, the prelate Her, uh, Hector, Hectarchius... Um, turned his eye to the past in search of instruction, appealed to the great wisdom of St. Cognatius, ordered lethal foes. I'm going to say, appealed to the great wisdom of St. Cognatius. While deep in prayer, there came to him a revelation that St. Cognatius, a man of great endeavors, a warrior and a wise artificer, never cowered behind the walls of a librarian, but stepped bravely into the darkness, carrying light in the palm of his hand, and he commanded others to do the same. And not only Foulstone, but many other worlds, the Cronus expands bear its imprints. After a prayer, the prelate Hectarchus turned his eye to the past, um, turn his eye to the past in search of instruction. Looks like we get a couple options that we can pick one of these. We called his first missionaries to set foot on Foulstone's uh, vast wasteland, led by their zeal for serving St. Cognatius. And those mercenaries had received the blessing of Nicomedes Keith, the champion of faith, who had traveled with them in the Star Baroque, to found in this, in this place a humble and pure abode wherein to cultivate wisdom and piety. How bravely the brethren and sisters of the Order of Hammer set out for other planets when summoned here to their here to, there too. Man, there's some hard reading here by their faith. And how steadfastly they kept worldly things beyond the walls of their secluded abode. For thus the covenant commanded, after prayer, pray let Hectarchus. I'm going to say welcome the interlopers when we because I don't want to kill all the innocent people. Unarmed and unarmored, the brethren and sisters of the Order of the Hammer came forth to meet the strangers, carrying water and protein victuals and medicinal herbs and jugs of Prometheum. They shared generously with the guests, but there were too few and the strangers too many. The interlopers came to blows over viands, the blood, blood was spilt, and many were trampled or mauled in a stampede, some of them dwellers of the monastery. They fled beyond their walls in fear and rang the vox alarm, shut the gate, and commanded the armed guards to keep watch of the gate, slaying any who approached. Ah, okay. A quarrel broke out. The hungry and sick lay siege to the monastery, begging for help. In their spite, they blocked the water collector and unpowered the genitorium. The faithful, in the meantime, were ready, made ready to resist, and a miracle came to pass. The god emperor sent his champion, his confidant, his right hand, the rogue traitor of the blessed house von Valencius. May the light of his grace remain upon it forever. The blessed vote, rogue traitor summoned uh, prelate Hectarchus and Elitus and interlopers uh, to hold each to account for their deeds, commanded the formidable boarding force to fall upon the interlopers, extended the veil of protection over the interlopers, taking them into his care, and thereby all foul stone with them. Um... We're going to... Ooh, I would probably not do this. I am a commissar, after all. But you know what? We're going to be good in this one, because why not? We're going to extend our veil of protection on the ropes, partly because we're trying to rebuild our new planetary network. That's my role-playing goal in this, right? We need as many planets as possible. This one, bad things are happening, but we could take this planet, bring it into the fold of us, um, and go from there. 
Humbly, the Order of the Hammer heeded the God Emperor's Confidant. Uh, as strong as it stable domains. I don't know what that said. It doesn't pop up somewhere else. Those need to stay up longer. And opened the gate of its abode and brought forth gifts of virtue to relieve the suffering of the ill-stricken. After a prayer, the architect set to work. In accordance with the saints' teaching, parameters set forth in standard template construct, they erected spacious living quarters and sturdy fort walls for the planetary militia and a spacious auditorium wherein to trade and store goods. And a proud censorium within those walls, clerks and servo bondsmen would maintain order and keep statistical records. And a new yet righteous way of life came to Foulstone, and the people rejoiced, and all was good. Uh, okay. Um, and that's that. So we don't get anything else out of it, but... Oh, now we've got a colony. Oh! Okay, project list. Available projects. We don't have any. Okay, but we have a colony. Um, with no resources, no efficiency, no containment, so no security. Um, but, but we've got something. All right, and we can maybe do more on that later? I don't know. But I think we'll end this episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time with some more grim dark in the far, far future, or at least tomorrow. Cheers.